Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to give you a super simple example on how to publish artifacts in GitHub Actions. So this is going to be the easiest GitHub Actions upload artifact example that you're ever going to see. Here I am inside of my workflows for my project. I've already got my main YAML file in there. I'm not going to edit that one. I'm going to create a brand new one just to keep things simple here. I'm just going to click on this add file link, create a new file, and I'm going to call this the actions artifact example YAML file. I think that's uh, good enough. And then I'm going to copy this prepackaged workflow in here. And I just wanted to talk to you about, it. obviously, you know, if you're familiar with GitHub actions, uh, you know that you have to start off with a name. So publish GitHub actions artifact example. I'll trigger this on any push to the main branch. And here's where it gets interesting. Okay, we start the job. It's going to run in Ubuntu. And here's the different steps that it's going to have. Now, let me actually increase the size of the screen there so you can see it a little bit better. And so here's what I'm going to do. Step one, I'm going to create a directory inside of the Docker container. This isn't on my local file system. This is running in that ephemeral Ubuntu container running on the server. On that server, I'm going to create a directory. I call it downloads. Step two, I'm going to move into that directory, CD downloads, and then I'm going to add a bunch of files to that. So I'm going to add a file named alpha.html, bravo.html, and charlie.html. There's the phonetic alphabet for you. And this echo command just takes this text, alpha, bravo, and charlie, and actually puts it into that file named alpha.html. So those three files will be created in this downloads folder. When, I, when I'm finished, I'm just going to move back to the root folder after that. So this creates these files. It puts it into this folder in that ephemeral container. Now, remember when this workflow is done, that container disappears. It's not available anymore. So what you need to do is you need to then use this upload artifact GitHub action that comes prepackaged for you. And what you do is you provide it two pieces of information. What is the name of the zip file that you want all of these resources copied into? And then what is the actual folder that all these resources are in, right? And I say that the name is assets for download. So that'll be the zip file that gets created so I can download these artifacts and the actual folder in which all of these GitHub actions artifacts are contained is named downloads. Now, right here, I've just got HTML files, right? Okay. If you're running a build, there's probably going to be a folder in which all of the artifacts that get generated are stored in. So for example, in Maven, if, you, if you're a Java developer, Maven puts everything into that target folder. So down here, instead of path downloads, I could say path target, and then everything that gets generated by Maven is going to be put in there. I could even say, you know, slash target, and then say, you know, star dot jar, star dot war. And that way, any jar file or war file or zip file or whatever gets put in there rather than just everything that's in that folder. But that's the idea. So right now I'm just creating these files because I want to keep this as simple as possible. But if you've got a build that generates something and puts those artifacts into a special folder, just say, hey, that's the folder that I want to use. Okay, I'm going to save this file. I pasted it in there. I'm going to click save. I'm going to commit this, commit new file. I'm going to take a quick look at that file because sometimes I put a tab or a space where it shouldn't be. So no, that all looks very, very handsome to me. Okay, and since that's a commit, I'm going to go over here into the actions and take a look if it's running. And so you'll notice that I've got the YAML file and I've also got this create action artifact. Uh, so you got to remember that since I've got two YAML files here, both of which run uh, on any push domain, both of them are actually running. So that was the main.yaml file right there. But it's this create action artifact that I'm really interested in. So I'm going to click over here, publish artifacts is the name of it. That's why it's so important to give it a good name. Let's take a look at it there. It looks like it's finished running and it ran successfully. And then look at this. And all of a sudden, we've got assets for download here as an artifact. Where did that come from? Well, remember that I said in that code, I said, hey, when this artifact runs, save everything into a file that is named assets for download. That's where that comes from right there. If I'm going to click on assets for download, it is going to download those assets. Let's take a look at my downloads folder right here. There's assets for download. I'm going to extract that. Open it up. There's alpha.html. 
If I open up alpha.html, edit it with notepad, you will see it's got the word alpha right in there, which coincides with echo alpha into the alpha.html file. And so there you go. That is the script. Let me bring that script up once again onto the page so you can see it there in all of its glory. Um, but that's how easy it is to use the upload artifact GitHub action and publish your artifacts for future download. And there you go. That's how easy it is to publish artifacts in GitHub Actions. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you wander over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub Actions, enterprise software development, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.